Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I've got a special video today for you. I'm doing a guest spot for In Love Art Studio. Now, In Love Art Studio is an online retail store where you can pick up lots of goodies. And some of the goodies I have here to show you are some stamp sets and some metal dies. Now uh, the lovely Yuki contacted me and asked if I would create something with their products. So I got this beautiful package in the mail full of these stamps and a couple of dies. So I thought I would use a couple of the stamps today and share with you a 9 by 12 inch layout. I've created with them. I'm trying to, in 2019, I'm trying to use my stamps a little more. And so this was a fun package to receive and uh, full of beautiful stamps. As you can see, there's some florals and some planner things and some cute little houses. I can't wait to work with those. And um, they're all a really great size. That little one there's a six by six inch, but most of them are a bit smaller than that. So they're perfect to sort of throw in your planner goodies and take them with you. And these gorgeous metal dies, I can't wait to have a bit of a play with them. And I'll be sure to share with you guys what I make. So the ones I'm using today are this beautiful Zantangle design um, and that gorgeous floral and another bit of a Zantangle there and just one little flower off that beautiful floral set. So I'm going to work with those today and put this 9 by 12 inch layout together. I've just used, to stamp these out, I thought it'd be fun just to have one colour and so I chose a yellow which is from a Stampin' Up! yellow I think it's maybe so saffron the color I'm not too sure but I thought usually I stamp in black um, and I thought I'm just going to do something a little bit different and you can see the lovely detail and the sharp edges that that beautiful those beautiful oh sorry those beautiful stamp set provides and that is a I think it's a pigment ink it's not even a dye ink or a solvent ink so um, to get that nice clean sharp edge is um, shows how great the stamp set are so you can all the links for the stamp set are below in the description so if you want to check any of those out feel free to do the link below these stamps are really affordable. This little pile only cost in Australian dollars around $30. And for orders over $25, they ship internationally for free. So I encourage you to check that out. So I've just pulled some papers here out of a 6x8 paper pad. I'm pretty sure this is the Carousel collection. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I just grabbed it and pulled out the little offcuts that I had left. And I've pulled out some ephemera there too. Now, I can't remember that collection either. You might be able to tell me. Um, but it is definitely a great paper collection uh, that I to know it has a very great papery feel so I want to start this uh, layout doing a bit of a border a colorful border to match uh, the colorful beautiful papers and help them tie it in so as you saw I just used some scissors and just cut the centers out into those L shapes and I'm just going to place them around the edge of my paper there to give a nice border with some it's sort of a custom border with different colors and it looks it comes together really well this is a nice little technique and the reason why I cut the centers out is I didn't want to waste any and I knew I could layer up with those off cuts either on this layout or on an on a future layout so I try not to be too wasteful when I'm feeling energetic I try not to be too wasteful sometimes I just plonk that white sheet down and forget about all that extra paper on the back there but today I was really really good and managed not to um, not to be too wasteful so here I am I've got this gorgeous photo of my girl she was just sitting on the stairs in our house as you do cuddling the puppy she had her iPad set up there her shoes set beside her and I thought oh you got to wonder out of all the places that she could sit in the house she found a comfy little spot there on the stairs well I'm not sure I would think it's too comfy and has perched herself there watching a show on the iPad which I thought was pretty cute 
So as you can see, I've just got that six by eight piece and I'm just sitting it down and then all those beautiful floral, stamped florals, I am just placing around to give a border effect. Now this layout is a super quick and easy layout. It is not technical. The only technical part about it is the stamping and the fussy cutting, as you will soon see. And I think... Um, even that is not too technical. It's just a little bit time consuming, which is why I did it off video so that I wouldn't be having a super long video here for you. But as you can see, those stamps are just stunning and um, are really sort of highlighting that center piece of the of the layout there. With a black and white photo, I, with, I'm, I'm allowed to, it sort of gives me permission to um, have a busier background, one with lots of florals and like what I've just done there, it, because it's not going to take away from the photo. If I was had a photo and it had blues and greens or yellows in it and it was the same colour tone as what I was using, then I would more than likely you lose what I was, um, lose my photo in that background. So having a really strong black and white has ensured that um, that photo and that memory is not getting overrun by all that that paper so here I am just grabbing some ephemera you know me I love my layers so I've added an extra layer there with a piece of ephemera tucking it in the photo I had this gorgeous gorgeous puffy um, puffy gold frame there and I thought oh gee I'm going to use that and really highlight that and then I found that little piece of ephemera there and I thought I'm just going to sit that down there and that is a good little spot there for my journaling here I am now thinking about my title and also thinking about how I'm going to tie some more gold elements in to sort of um, even out that frame. And so I thought I would pick up a, a gold thicker set and um, create my title and add that extra little embellishment there with the bow. And as you can see, it's coming together really really quickly a lovely quick layout that hasn't taken it took me no time at all which was nice because a lot of my layouts lately are really heavy with mixed media and are really time consuming so it's just lovely for me just to sit and put a quick layout together document a quick memory add a bit of journaling and and be done so yeah this, oh, I, I wish I could remember. You guys might be able to tell me what ephemera set this is. I've had it sitting and I just get these little CD cases. And so my ephemera packs are sort of just in these little CD cases that sit beside my desk and I just pull them out. But usually I leave the, like the backing card in there of the ephemera pack, but I didn't with this one. I'm sure it's a crepe paper one. I'm just, I just can't think of which one it is for you um, and now I'm just going to finish off with some gold well not gold light pink Heidi shine which is also a lovely little bit of a splatter and also some journaling which just just a little bit of journaling to say what we, what she was doing and how I was delighting in her and there's my layout done so if you like this layout and you love the stamps I please check out in love art studio that all the details are below and also if you're new to my channel welcome I hope you like my style and consider being a subscriber to my channel give it a like and share it with your friends that would really support my channel okay guys take care bye